Hey everybody, it's Drew with Como Comic Books. In this week's video, we're gonna give you the top five Silver Age comics for the Black Widow. Stay with us. Welcome back. If we're just meeting, my name's Drew Stewart. I'm the owner of Como Comic Books. We are a Columbia, Missouri based comic book vendor that specializes in Silver Age and Bronze Age comic books, and you will find us at comic conventions and comic shows all around the region. The next movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe slate is The Black Widow. I thought this would be a great time to break out what I think are the top five Silver Age Black Widow comic books. Now, this is my opinion. This list consists of the books I think are the five best. You may have some different books that you would put on your own list, and if that's the case, Drop me a comment. Let me know what books you would add that I didn't include. The books that I picked for this list are the Black Widow's primary or significant appearances throughout the Silver Age. For most of her appearances in the Silver Age, you were never really sure if she was a good guy or a bad guy or what kind of trouble she was in at any given point. And it took a little while before she was firmly viewed as a hero. The Black Widow has been one of the most beloved characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and the fact that it's taken this long for a solo Black Widow movie to happen has been a point of contention for some fans. But now that we're finally here, and it's a shame that with everything going on in the world that the movie that so many people have waited a really long time for has been pushed back even further. While that may be a disadvantage for the casual movie goer, it may actually present an opportunity for the comic collector, the comic book investor, in that with the extra time between now and the movie's release, there's the potential for some of the hype that was associated with the movie to turn down a little bit and as such some of the values of these books may trend down slightly in the near term before they ramp back up right before the movie comes out if you follow the market much you'll notice that these comics peak right before the release of the actual movie there's an opportunity for the value of some of these books to come back down and therefore you can get into them at a better price than what you may have been able to earlier this spring as the anticipation for the movie was higher. That will hopefully set you up to see a little bit of return on your investment as we get closer to the movie's new release date. Let's go ahead and get into the list. Our first entry should be no surprise. We're starting off with Tales of Suspense 52, which is the first appearance of the Black Widow. Tales of Suspense 52 was written by Stan Lee, illustrated by Don Heck, and it hit the spinner racks in April of 1964. In a story called The Crimson Dynamo Strikes Again, we first meet Natasha Romanoff, a Russian agent who shows up with the new Crimson Dynamo to take out Anton Vanko, the original Crimson Dynamo. Next on our list is Tales of Suspense 57. This issue was also written by Stan Lee and drawn by Don Heck, and it was released in September of 1964. In this story titled Hawkeye the Marksman, this book features the third appearance of the Black Widow, but also is the first appearance of Hawkeye, Clint Barton. Hawkeye and the Black Widow are very closely associated with each other throughout most of the rest of the Silver Age. In fact, most of the Black Widow's involvement with the Avengers in the Silver Age involve her getting in trouble and Hawkeye bailing her out. That's a gross generalization, but for the most part, that's pretty accurate. Speaking of the Avengers, our next entry is Avengers number 44. Avengers 44 was released in September of 1967. In a story titled The Valiant Also Die, this story written by Roy Thomas and illustrated by John Buscema features a brief origin of the Black Widow. It is the second appearance of the Red Guardian, who we find out is the Black Widow's husband who was thought to be dead. As you know from watching the trailers for the movie, David Harbour plays the Red Guardian in the Black Widow movie. Whether or not the husband angle will work its way in, we don't really know. 
there's been a lot of speculation and a subsequent value increase in the preceding issue, Avengers number 43, which features the first appearance of the Red Guardian. Next on our list is Amazing Spider-Man 86. This issue features a further diving into the origin of the Black Widow and is also the first appearance of what we all know as the classic Black Widow costume. Amazing Spider-Man 86 was released in July of 1970. The story Beware the Black Widow was written by Stan Lee and illustrated by John Romita Sr. The final issue on our list is Amazing Adventures number one. This issue was released in August of 1970 and was written by Gary Frederick and illustrated by John Bushima. In the story, Then Came the Black Widow, we finally see the Black Widow take out on her own and have her own solo story. This would continue on for the first eight issues of Amazing Adventures. Amazing Adventures number one was on stands in August of 1970. So that's our list. Those are the top five Silver Age Black Widow appearances. If you were looking to put together a small collection of Black Widow comics between now and when the movie hits, those would be the five I would go after. And now for our tip of the day. Last week, I was having a conversation with somebody in the Midwest Comic Collectors Group on Facebook, and I gave a piece of advice that I, I truly believe is important to anybody who's looking to invest or speculate in comics. If you are speculating on a book at the same time everyone else is, you're too late. The key to speculation is to be one or two steps ahead of everybody else. It's a gamble. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But if you are in the crowd, you're already too late. If you enjoyed today's video, hit subscribe, hit like, leave us a comment and let us know. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.